in the back? Okay. Hey. Hey. Went to the National Museum for Civil and Human Rights in Atlanta, and they had a temporary exhibit with some of um, Dr. King's artifacts. So, like speeches that he wrote in his own handwriting, his briefcase that he was carrying the day that he was assassinated. He went on to give all these great speeches and inspire so many people. I think for me, that gives me a new sense of like hope, and that I can maybe do something too someday. Try to imagine what type of strength it took in order to stay normal because you mentioned the threats that were on um, their lives and their children's lives and to be able to sit down at dinner and not show that stress, not to show that tension, not to show that fear. I got kind of emotional because I found my own county in Arkansas and there's only one name but I never really comprehended how many people endured this and were victims of um, racial terror and multiple boxes had so many names and there's so many that aren't even accounted for that they're being remembered but they're not being honored. It's very hard to comprehend everything that took place. It's hard to process. I keep re-realizing how recently this all occurred. You know, this was less than a lifetime ago. Uh, I can still find people who lived through this. I'm just thinking like it was not that long ago. Like my grandmother had lived through some of this. We started with the uh, National Civil Rights Museum and uh, I think for me the most powerful part of that museum was the fountain, um, which is really why that museum I think is known. Before that, we had to take the pledge. There's something about seeing your name on the wall with like hundreds of other names there. It drove home the point that racism spreads across like age, like gender, it doesn't matter. Like racism and hatred, it, it can, anybody can be victimized. You know, even if you're just four little church girls or a young man riding your bike, you know, by a church, you can still be a victim of racism and hatred. I don't know, I was just really surprised how just seeing the school made me feel. Um, like I couldn't imagine having to go through that experience. Because just walking up to the school itself, like the history of the school and then seeing it in person and just putting it all together, I enjoyed it a lot. And the bridge was like, I think my favorite part of today. So imagine Martin Luther King walked across this bridge. That was, so, it felt, made me feel empowered because like, if they can do it, we can do it too. There was always the notion that black people um, were separate from white people, but everything was equal, and that wasn't the case. These people took a stand during the civil rights era. They fought, they sacrificed, they took the time out to give their all for multiple generations to come after them so that we could be free.